Scoring for your country has to be one of the, the greatest things that you can do in your career. On debut, I think it was uh, even more special for me. The celebration is just pure emotion. It was not, not until after the game actually that uh, talking to Mike Cockrell that he said to me that I was the first Indigenous goal scorer for the Socceroos. So that's something that, that I can tell my kids and they can tell their kids that, that I was the first Indigenous uh, goal scorer for the Socceroos. So um, it's, it's yeah, very special, it means a lot to me and has, a, has had a lasting impact on my career. I don't think it was awareness at the time. Uh, you know, in my in my thirties, really, I guess you know, after soccer had finished, and you sit back and think, well, yeah, I don't, I don't really know a lot about my my family culture um, and history, but I, I since realised that there's a lot of Indigenous people out there that are in the same boat, and it's okay to say that you don't know if you're willing to to go on that journey and and ask for for guidance and, and help, then you're, you're putting your foot in the right direction. So as long as people are doing that, and, and that's what's happening for me now, is uh, I'm, I'm still going on that journey now. The more, the more I'm getting involved in the Indigenous side of football, um, with player pathways and, and youth development, uh, I can see myself doing that more and more. Uh, even if that means down the track, stepping away from coaching at an MPL level, um, yeah, I, I certainly see that there's potential. There's over 300 registered uh, players, Indigenous players in South Australia. So I'd love to see that number grow and help, help make that number grow in South Australia as well.